So today is part five of my top coins from now until 2018. This will probably be my last video on this series just because it's getting a little out of control now. I may not post all the coins that you might like. I had a few people saying Cardano. These are my coins that I believe are the top picks. So let's get started. <laughs> Hey there, YouTube. I'm Jean with Crypto Picks. So, of course, let me get started with my subscribers. Thank you all so much. You guys are awesome. Keep smashing that like and subscribe button. I appreciate all of you. Check out my Discord, my invest feed. I'm on Facebook. Anywhere you guys want to message me, let me know. I'm there to, to help you guys. So, first, let me begin with Bitcoin. This one is just going crazy. Right at that 10,000 mark, I actually got a notification for Gmail news. I usually get once a day when I wake up and it said Bitcoin hit $10,000 this morning. This is going to start blasting off. Once we get to that 10,000 mark, it's just going to hundreds were kind of quick. Now we're going to get to thousands. It's going to be awesome. You look at one month ago, we were at what? $5,500. We doubled that one month ago. The only bad thing is usually when when Bitcoin goes crazy, alts kind of suffer. We haven't really seen that too much lately. I guess we'll see what happens, right? 2018, the end of that. This is what this video is about. Who knows? Hopefully, we'll all have a lot of money by then. So my first token is one that I was super excited about in ICO, and I'm still super pumped up for for all of 2018, QuantStamp. So QuantStamp is a scalable security audit protocol designed to find vulnerabilities in smart contracts. They solve the smart contract security problem by creating a scalable and cost-effective system to audit all smart contracts on the Ethereum network. So what is their coin used for? QSP. So projects will use the QSP token to pay for verification services. So now why do I think that QuantStamp is going to be a great hold through 2018? So first, the proof of HODL or proof of carrying. Richard Ma posted an article kind of describing this, letting everyone know what we were all waiting for. What is the proof of HODL going to be? Basically, QSP token holders who continue to support their project will be allocated tokens from the project that they audit. That could be huge if the, depending on the percentage, all kinds of different things, but you could be getting, it's pretty much like a dividend now. So, so they'll be able to score you on your proof of HODL based off a few things and below over here kind of gives you their scorecard, I guess you could say. This could be exciting for people that were already wanting to stay in QuantStam. This is just a huge plus, huge plus in my opinion. So next they have an ambitious roadmap with the mainnet being released in August. They have a great superstar team and some superstar advisors with Evan Chang, who is in one, in my opinion, one of the best advisors if you base it off of the experience the advisor has. He's got Facebook and Apple experience and it's not just like, oh, worked as a software developer. He had some pretty, he had a pretty big role there. And then the potential for QuantStamp just to become the standard for all Ethereum based project is huge. If that happens, the sky is seriously the limit in my opinion. And finally, they plan to allocate 30% of their tokens just towards marketing which is a huge plus. If people don't know who you are, you're not going to increase in value. So, so the next token we have, this one's kind of strange. This one's still an ICO, but this one I feel has such huge potential that I cannot leave this one out. This is literally one of my favorite coins along with QuantStamp and 0x that I plan to hold and buy like crazy once it comes into the exchange. So Wanchain is looking to build a super financial market for the new digital economy. They basically want to build a distributed bank that allows institutions or individuals such as myself the ability to set up their own virtual teller window, pretty much like your own bank. Then they want to provide services such as lending, asset exchange, credit payments, transaction settlements, and many other services. I'm telling you, this one can be huge. So what is this coin used for? So both cross-chain and intra-chain transactions consume a certain amount of WAN coin. It is also used to run transactions within the network, cross transactions, and security deposits. So the more volume on the WAN chain platform, the greater the value of the WAN coin. Now I just 
a, a while back, actually, I did a video on this, a PTMGS analysis. It's actually one of my first. And then I just talked about this in my top coins to hold for December. So I have some information on there if you want to get want to just get more familiar with what the heck WAN chain is doing. And if you think, you should even jump in. So why do I think this coin is going to be so huge in 2018? So first, and probably the best part in my opinion, is their team. WAN chain has literally the best team that I've seen on any project. They have so many superstars. It's not even funny. Go look and check out my, my video. Just go check out their team. Go through LinkedIn. Their team is ridiculous. Not only that, if you look at their updates on their median, they just added six more people and four, just off a quick glance, look like superstars. Already one of the greatest teams, making even greater. And with a great team, the potential to make a great product is just... It, I'm so excited for this one. Now, side note, there's something kind of sticky that came up. Tony, one of the guys had some picture of some famous Chinese guy. I don't really find this to be much of an issue. Some people are fighting over this. If you look at their Discord, they've already addressed it and they're going to fix it. So, in my opinion, don't even worry about this FUD, about this guy in this picture. Who cares? The rest of their team is amazing. I don't even know if I had him as a superstar. Actually, I'm pretty sure I didn't have him as a superstar. Maybe a star. I don't know. So, as I just described above, they have a super ambitious project that is planning to do so many things. And that could be kind of a put off for some people. I know Superman talked about they're just doing so much. So are they kind of jack of all trades and master of none? I think that since their team is just so great that they could be so good at everything. I think this is where the team really, really comes in handy. Another huge thing, they're not even allowing anyone to trade tokens on the exchange until mainnet 1.0 is launched. Hopefully is in December. That's what they said. Delays happen. We'll see. I'm just excited that they're actually waiting for their product to be ready before they put their token out there. That shows that these guys are serious. They want everyone to take them serious. Then we got May 2018. They plan for WAN Chain 2.0 to launch. And then in late December, December 2018, we'll see 3.0. WAN Chain 3.0. So all in the span of one year. Now for my final coin, which has to do with one of my most favorite exchange. If you read or if you watch my videos, you understand Binance. It's quickly becoming more and more popular. The volume is increasing so dramatically and they're increased and they're adding, they're adding new coins all the time. So again, BNB is Binance coin. And as I said in my PTMGS analysis, if you watched it with BNB, you kind of actually got to know what the exchange is because the exchange is so important to this coin. So Binance is an exchange capable of sustaining 1.4 million orders per second, as well as 20 million simultaneous users on their platform, making it one of the fastest exchanges today. Binance.com is hosted in multiple languages, so they don't have that language barriers that some may have, and they support multiple platforms. Again, I love this exchange. I know I say it time and time again, it's beautiful, user-friendly, so much better than Bitrix in my opinion. Just the more I use it, the more I love it. So what is the BNB coin used for? It's basically used for fees, exchange fees, withdrawals fees, listing fees, and any other fees that come up with the evolution of this exchange. So you're probably asking yourself, why the heck did this guy just pick BNB as a top pick in 2018? Maybe the exchange is great, but why would I pick the token? Well, here are my reasons. So first, the volume for Binance should multiply. The exchange is super new and it's just adding more and more coins and people are migrating from Bitrix, Bifinix, Poloniex to Binance. It, it, it's just so much better. In my, again, this is my opinion, but so many other people are sharing the same opinion that they love Binance over all these massive exchanges like, like Bitrix. So next we have Coinburns. They plan on using 20% of their profits to buy back BNB and destroy them until they hit 100% million remaining tokens and as i said earlier the exchange is just so beautiful user friendly and they plan to make it even better with constant updates now finally possibly the most important reason why i'm so excited for bnb is the decentralized exchange when this is released bnb will be used for fees such as ether is used for gas on ether delta and pretty much any other decentralized exchange right now 
this will give the token so much more value than already has just because it can be used for every single fee on this decentralized exchange and we all know decentralized exchanges are the future and i'm pretty sure that's why binance is wanting to go there once they get everything settled in and sometime in the near future well that's my video for my top 15 coins for 2018 tell me what you think i'm sure you guys believe i, I missed a couple coins i keep on hearing cardano i don't care too much about that coin right now again i have a lot of research to do there these are my personal coins that i think will be great in 2015 my opinion let me know what yours is check out my description i got my my discord there where i'm i'm there a lot of times where we can chat i have a few admins that are super active we can chat also i know i talked about binance today i got my referral code in there it's there you don't have to use it just letting you know i love binance <laughs> If you want to check it out maybe you'll love it too you can use my referral code and again don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button i appreciate all of you and i'll see you next time